everybody, Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video. Uh, today we're back in the arena playing, actually, actually, a submitted deck. Um, I say this every time I get one. I appreciate anybody that would send me a submitted deck. Um, I don't always have a lot of time to research decks and try to come up with new ones. I do... I do and I don't. I, I try to when I'm playing against people, research the decks that they're playing, see if I can't, you know, replicate it. Um, and of course, I watch YouTube when I'm when I can. Uh, it's been busy recently. Anyways, though. Anyways, today's deck is brought to you by a man named John Parker. Um, and he was, you know, asked me how to help him with his deck. So I figured, what a better way to help with the deck other than play with the deck? Now. There was some, some fixes I already had to do. I uh, Let's go over the one thing I wasn't able to do. The one thing I wasn't able to do is actually get two copies of Jaya Ballard. I um, I even spent some money in the store to try to get a Mythic. And I just, as you can see, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this. But if you go over this button here, you can see commons, uncommons, and rares in Mythic. It's, it's crazy, dude. I uh, just found out. But anyways, that's uh, one of the things I I just couldn't do. Now, as far as fixes for that, he had three guild summits. Uh, so I just put a fourth one in. Um, I don't know if the deck revolves necessarily around J.O. Ballard. But if it does, I I figured... I, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should say. Um, now, he did also... He had, uh, instead of these Simic Guild Gates, and let me double check myself, I don't want to, don't want to get this wrong. Um, yes, he had Boros Guild Gates, and what was bugging me about that is that he doesn't have any white. It, uh, as you can see from the, the list, basically mono red, except for a splash of blue and a very tiny splash of green making it teamer. Um... So I just, you know, I figured maybe that was a mistake on uh, on the text message, and I went ahead and put these Simic Guild Gates in. If it's not John, I'm sorry. I don't know why I would put in Boros, uh, but anyways. Um, and then he also had seven mountains uh, at the end here, and, and this is what I did instead of the seven mountains. Uh, Plaza of Harmony, since we are playing Guild Gates, uh, it would help out a lot, and I... Uh, then I put one of each basic land in case we come across that random deck. Uh, not that we're really going to be running into Settle. We don't really want to swing with any of our creatures here. Uh, except for maybe Gatebreaker Ram. But if we run into that deck with Settle the Wreckage, well, here's a fetch land. You know, uh, we fetch these lands. So, anyways. Um, I believe that was the only fixes I need to make he had a typo I think uh, he called lightning strike lightning bolt which is fine I, I everybody does I mean I ain't getting on to him about it everybody does and he had five of them uh, and I'm assuming that's the typo is that it's four times lightning strikes if I'm wrong please let me know <laughs> I just I, I want to get it right and I had to assume a couple of things and you know what assuming does so anyways guys let's um let's get into the video Let's go play some matching is. Um, if you guys haven't had the chance, me and my buddies, uh, Zach, aka Blackout, aka Dragon Master, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, he, um, me and him did a spoiler slash speculation video. Um, go get a check out on my channel. Um, please give me a like and a subscribe. We, we also are doing an eBay, um, we're starting our own eBay up to, in, and hopefully in the future, I uh, get a. Let's let's think. So, Gate of Blaze, but two Goblin Electromancers. Um, yeah. So, anyways, we're uh, hoping in the future to start our own store out here in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, so hey, if you'd like to support that, please just give us a look up on our eBay account. Um, I will post that link in the description below. Um, plus, go ahead and give the, that speculation video a look. You know you want to. You want to see who we think is going to die and who we think is not going to die. 
Oh, uh, heads up, because I know it'll piss him off. Um, Sarkon's dead. Sarkon's, like... If I had to pick a number between one and dead, Sarkon is dead infinity. Oh, goody! We get to play against my favorite deck. Well, what we're going to go ahead and do is put out an Electromancer. Why not? You know? See if we can get him to play against uh, play his creatures out. Uh, I'd rather him give me a shock. Please give me a shock. A shock would be nice. A shock would be awesome. Please give me a shock. A bane fire, even better, dude. That's a that's a finisher, and you you used it this early, huh? Okay. Um. I don't want to give him a gutter snipe per se. I do want to give him a goblin electromancer since we got our third one out. All right, so mono red flood right now. Okay, I will take your trade. Goblin electromancer means nothing to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Put some creatures out there. Ooh, Rekindling Phoenix. That actually, um... Hmm. How do I feel about that? So let's put one more Goblin Electromancer out there. Hopefully we can skewer the critics, then Gates Ablaze. Uh, not this turn, obviously, but next turn. Yeah. So pass. Skewer the critics, Gates Ablaze. Obviously, we can't block. Have at it. Please put some more creatures out on the board. I'd appreciate that. Hopefully not a rekindling phoenix, but creatures, yes. Yes, please. Creatures, yes. Secure the critics is two. Gates of Blaze is two. Oh, kill me. Oh, wait. Duh. Uh, so... Gain some life, Gates Blaze, call my creatures, and Gates Blaze again. And there we go. Yay! Go team! So, um, <laughs> I've killed off all my Electromancers but one. <laughs> this is not going great. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm holding off against Big Red here. So, uh,. <laughs> I think it's going okay, as good as it's going to. Anyways, one, two, three, one, two. Alright, one, two, three. And uh, tap for a red, sure. Yeah, we're gonna have to save because we're gonna have to start doing something with gutter snipe here, hopefully. I would love a guild summit. That's really not going to help too much. If I have a Pyromancer again. You know what kills me is I'm playing like casual play and I'm still getting this. Uh, yeah, okay, that's that works. So, uh, kill. Uh, skewer the critics. Kill. Um, I mean, no, we have to keep, we have to keep Gutter Snipe back, right? We're gonna imagine he's, he's holding like 20 lands in his deck, no? Cool. Mmm, what's the probability he has a lightning strike, right? Decline. Oh, yeah, dude, it used to automatically decline for you. Now I don't, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this Bane fires. This, this Bane fire, dude. I mean, I'm going to... 
what's the chance that he whiffed on all of that, right? Like, he needs a shock, a shock. Like, those shocks will kill me, right? What's the, what's the chance he whiffed on that, right? There we go. He has the win. Give me a shock. Right? Yeah. He lightning strikes me. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm not giving him GG's. Why? Because it's red. It's freaking red, dude. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this type of deck isn't supposed to match up to big red, mono red, whatever you want to call that uh, last deck. It's not supposed to match up to it. Um, so I wasn't surprised I lost there. You know, it... <sighs> The whole reason that deck does good is because it's aggro, right? It's it's super aggro. Well, we're mid range to late game, I would say. Um, we, <clears throat> excuse me, can have a more aggro uh, hand, but we didn't. So you know, um, this is okay and it's not. So let's just keep. We really need another guild gate on top here. Like, preferably one with blue would be awesome. That's semi-blue guild gate. So we don't have a turn two, but it's fine. Ooh. Artifacts today, huh? Um. I'm gonna go with this, because we need to go with that. Uh. Oh, wait. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay, well, we are going to go ahead and guild summit because we can. Uh, I'm not super stupid. We still can play an Electromancer or a Lightning Strike depending on what they want to do next turn. See, what if Gateway Plaza didn't come in tapped, but instead would come in, like, like, untapped, but you still have to tap that land. That would, that would make it ten times better to me. Uh, no, we're, we're going to use this. Never use our multicolored banner. Who knows, maybe they think we have white. Um. So, I guess... An Electromancer... I mean, we have three in hand, again. We might as well, you know. What's the harm? Okay, well, Denitha dies. Dauntless Bodyguard dies first. Okay, so lightning strike. Denitha. Let's make him have to sacrifice the bodyguard. Yep. Okay. And then we goblin electromancer. Number two. And pass the turn. I'm gonna be able to get all of our goblin electromancers out, which is good. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. I should have just killed Dauntless Bodyguard first, but I was being facetious. Uh, what do we do? Gates Blaze, Gates Blaze. And then Banefire. Yeah. Gates Blaze. I mean, get to blaze. I'm sorry. Screw the critic. Screw the critic. Bang fire for three. Done. Dealt with. Goodbye. Uh, get you some. Call the Calvary.
So I do want to mention this if you're watching John Parker. There is one problem I see so far with this deck. Um, in a Gates deck and using Gates of Blaze, right? It's kind of hard to use Gates of Blaze when you have two twos just out the butt. Um, granted, what, what you would probably do and what would probably be smart is uh, using Gate of Blaze to... To clear the board before putting your Electromancers out. But the thing is that one Electromancer is out early. So that way I can do things like this. Yeah. Um, gosh damn. You know what? Uh, I should probably clear the board. He's going to need 7 mana. How many mana does he have? He has 6. Let's assume he gets a 7th mana. That gives a creature plus 1 plus 1 for each land you control. Uh, that gives him nine. I can bane fire. Yeah, we're good. I do like Guild Summit. Um, I wish that we had more. <laughs> I wish we had so much more. In turn. <sighs> Valiant Knight. Wish we had Gatebreaker Ram. That's what I wish. But we don't. We don't have the Gatebreaker. You want to know why? Because we don't. Oh, really? I never knew this. Okay. Well, I... One, two, three, four. No, four damage to this thing. You're dead. Are you going to save it? Alright, we'll even swing out with our goblins, Electromancers. You want to take a trade? Let's take a trade. Seal away? Are we, are we being serious right now? A freaking seal away? Okay, well that's fine. Uh, Gateway Plaza. Pay one. There's my one. Paid. He's about to run out of gas. This is the thing about Mono White. I don't see any Mentor of the Meeks or anything like that. So he's about to run out of gas. Play the other card that's on your end. I dare you. Ah, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and wipe the board. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wipe the board. Then Guild Summit. Paying this one, this one, and this one. Then tapping the other two, like show, submit, draw two cards. Then put a girl guild gate down. Then draw two cards. <clears throat> and here we go, guys. This is starting to get where we want to be in this game. So, as you can see, against a less aggressive deck, I would say, this is this is golden, you know? Um, sure, we still need to... Oh, heck yes. Okay, so, oh, heck yes again, but it's a target... Each opponent. Okay, so, um, we actually are going to Plaza of Harmony, so we can do everything we want to do. So Jay of Valor, you come down, then Gutter Snipe. Now, Jay of Valor, plus one ability to Lightning Strike the Angel, which will then allow us to secure the Critics. See, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a little bit. Jaya Ballard might be the missing link I, I uh, wish I had. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, what's the other things we can do with Jaya Ballard? Oh, you're kidding me. He immortal sun me that quickly. Oh, wow. Well, we're not playing against an idiot, that's for sure. Okay, so shock you in the face. Dealing four damage because of gutter snipe. And guess what? Another two. So here we go. In turn. So here's his draw engine. I like it. I like it. 
my immortal son doing work. Quindy. Freaking Quindy. That's fine. That's so dead. Okay, so... First we do this, see if we can get some... Oh wow, our Gatebreaker Ram would be as as big as it, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, no, just barely not. Um, we win. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So. Missing one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to your face. Eight to your face. Plus two. And you're down to one life. We'll keep Gutter Snipe back as a blocker because you do not have trample. And then we win with the lightning strike, right? I think that's how this works. Yep. Yup, yup, yup. I mean, okay. <laughs> so we block. Because we can. Hey, block, block. And then we give him the GG's of goodness because we have a double kill spell. So, kill. Came close though, it really did. I enjoyed the match. Thank you, sir. Alright. So there you go. That's one good game um, with the deck, and I think it showed off the deck better, honestly. Uh, yeah, keep going. We'll do one or two more, depending how long this next one is. Um, John, I like the deck, man. I see where you were going with it, right? You wanted to cast some spells and basically punish your burn. Now, the thing is, though, I still think you should have just did punish your burn. Um, and if you don't know what punish your burn is, normally it's red black. And it basically says every time you play a spell, either he does something bad or he does something bad. It's punishing. Um, just like you have here, you know, you play a spell, well, you got gutter snipe. Well, you played risk factor and he, <laughs> you know. He's like, ah, risk factor, oh god. Uh, so let's do this. And Plaza of Harmony. Next turn into a guild summit. Hello, how are you, sir? Are you having a great night? I'm having a fantastic I'm having a fantastic night. Uh there we go. Oh, it's just fantastic tonight. Ooh, please tell me we're playing against the Wilderness Reclamation Token Deck, aka my Reclamation Token Deck. Please, Lord Rain, Lord Wayne. Um, yeah, a gutter snipe. Yeah. This only add a color or gate you, yeah. So this doesn't actually do anything because of our, uh, because of our mountain. We'd actually need a Boros or a, um, is it Boros? Nope, we don't have Boros. Is it or Gruel? Or the other one, the other one. <laughs> I can't remember right now. Um... We could, though. Like, we could. We could. And I'm going to. So, yeah, we swing. Yeah, swing at your face. Now we're going to deal five damage to your face and show you what it's like to, to have a gutter snipe on the field. It was five, right? Is this one? No, this is two damage. Yeah. That's right. Guy's blessing. Yeah, did that help at all? Oof, I feel bad for loud rain. Granted, we're kind of doing bad too right now. We need some red mana. Loudy, loudy, bring us some red mana. Close. That's very close to red mana. Yes. Very. 
Okay, so uh, blue, red, and a blue. And we'll draw a card. Hopefully, hopefully, Guildgate, please. Guildgate. Guildgate, please. No, just our third Guildgate summit. Okay, well, when we do draw a Guildgate, it is going to be an insane draw. <laughs> Granted, our, our opponent not doing anything right now. Ha. Huh. Well, I think we go ahead and get this out. Red. Blue. Blue. Go ahead and get it out. Go ahead and tap. Go ahead and Guildgate. And draw three cards. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, swing two. I think we're going to drop a shock because we can. We can get Jaya Ballard out now. And that's where we're going to go with things. Oh, come on. You couldn't let Jaya shine? Well, that was a short game, so let's play one more. I draw my one Jaya Ballard, and he won't let me play it. How mean. How rude. Ooh, desert. So where I would love to play this end, we cannot. A uh, better hand. Right. Kind of. Harmony Plaza is still not doing well. Harmony Plaza is not doing a thing, actually. <laughs> uh, this, this this was a bad keep. I'm 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 actually going to concede on this bad keep. I'm sorry. It's not you, opponent. It's me. <laughs> we didn't draw Guildgate. I'm not going to keep that. It's honestly a little clunky with no guild uh, with three basic lands it still feels clunky because you want gate you want harmony of uh, plaza of harmony to get off <sighs> you really do and it's weird because i normally draw one this is a much better keep let's keep so we're gonna go this Hmm. What are you playing? Why do you have a card like Crash Through? Hold on a second. This is... Oh, we're playing against Drakes. This is a Drake deck. This has to be a Drake deck. Okay, well, that's an Electromancer. Um, we'll go ahead and put a Shock Out on that Electromancer. Because we do not need him playing a crap ton of... <laughs> we need to find Gates of Blaze like yesterday. <laughs> so hard right now chart of course or it's the uh it could be the yep oh frick um <laughs> we're not going to enjoy this um i think it's like i don't even know if i should well we we can't first off so Let's go ahead and tap it. Why? Why? So here's the question. Normally, it asks me if I want to tap one of these. It didn't ask me this time. It didn't tell me how. Ask me how I wanted to pay. Nothing. What? What the hell, man? What the hell, me? All right, come on. With your discovery. Oh wow. This is bad. This is real bad. <laughs> I don't feel good, Mister Mister Stark. I don't feel so good. Uh, oh, okay, now I feel a lot better. So, Gates of Blaze. We'll put a Gutter Snipe out this turn. Pass turn. So, yes, he's going to be able... <sighs> Dude, maybe I should kill the Electromancer instead. Divination. Oh, he's getting his Arch... Light. Uh, Arch... Da -da -da Phoenix. Really? Really? Really, really? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You played all your cards. Guess what? I hope you get... I need you to get one more Arch, uh, Arch Light Phoenix. I need you to get one more. Pass. 
pass turn. So now we have a lightning strike held back uh, for when he inevitably plays three more spells this turn. Yeah, divination resolves. Radical idea resolves. Do you have a one drop spell? Nope. Hmm, sucks to suck sometimes, man. Well, I think we guild summit and draw to you. I'd like another Gate of Blades just in case. Uh, I mean, he could do something insane this next turn. We don't. We never know. Frick, that sucks. Pass. He put one. Is that two? That's two. Crap. This is bad, guys. It's so bad. It's so bad. Radical idea. And then here's his third spell. Really? Really no third spell? Okay, well, we're going to punish you by doing this. Pay one. Goblin Electromancer pass the turn. Goblin Electromancer times two. There we go. We really need a Plaza of Harmony right now. I really are you freaking kidding me? Crackling Drake, awesome. We can kill a crackling Drake. No, it's not a problem. How far are you from milling yourself out? Not far. By, well, not close. Okay, so... Gutter Snipe. Lightning Strike. Skewer the Critic. Skewer the Critic. And skewer the critic. Welcome to two life, sir. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that. He sure wasn't expecting that. Beacon bolt. Yeah, well, daylight dollar short on. Uh, Enigma Drake. Nice. Discover ah. So I imagine with the, is it Guild Gate we probably oh Gatebreaker Ram huh? So let's is it Guild Gate see what we get. Hmm, Jaya Ballard, that's really good. So Jaya Ballard and plus one. Right. Uh, then we get a blaze because we can't take all that damage. Then we pass. Make my day, sir. Make my day. Hmm. Shock and Jaya Ballard, huh? A little scared. A little little scared, dear. Enigma Drake. Oh, thank you for playing all... I don't want to end it yet, you know? I want to get cocky, so let's get cocky. I mean, yeah, we're, we're going to get cocky. I don't care. I'm going to play Gates of Blaze. We're going to play Gatebreaker Ram. And we're going to say go. Pass. We could win it. We could win it right here. Right now. But what, what's the fun with the with a bane fire, you know? What's the fun of a bane fire? A crackling injury. You you you, you know <laughs> Okay, I was about to say dude. You know you know, right? Oh, come on. Um What's plus one to take a bane fire away?
Let's do I show him I just have the win? Is that another way of doing this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just show him we have the win. <laughs> but we chose not to do it anyways. <laughs> And then, gate breaker ramp. I'd rather rather have fun than just just win straight out. Crackling Drake. Hey, guess what? It's a crackling Drake. Your your great <laughs> your gate breaker ram still still a threat, still major threat. There we go. Opt. Well, guys, we might have lost this. <laughs> To be honest, uh, that's not going to win us the game. <laughs> Let's see what we get off the top. Okay, Gateway Plaza. That's not bad. Play the one. Pay the one mana. Draw. Draw. Oh, hey. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You know, um, <laughs> do I really? Do I really like? I just wanted to get Jaya Ballard's emblem, but instead we got her snipe, and he loses the game. <laughs> no good at magic, man. No good at magic. The gathering. Well, guys, um, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I, I want to double check something before I uh, end the video. I, I wanted to see. Land count. 23 lands. That's that's another thing. I, I kept the amount of land count that he kept. Okay. Um, I don't like it's saying 23 lands. Hold on. One, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five. That's 23. Yeah. I don't like 23. It's a little clunky to me. Granted, this is a gates deck, so 24 is not even that bad of an idea. Um, you're playing four guild gate summit, so, you know, uh, it's not it's not bad. Um, I like I like the punish burn, but like I said, dude, like, if, if you want to do punish burn, if you want to do punish burn, right? Um... Do cards like this. Do a uh, sword point, and I probably don't have any, so hold on. Not collected. Sword point diplomacy. That's a good card. Um, you want to play sword point diplomacy. You want to play gutter snipe, of course. You want to play electric master, of course. You want to play electric static field, which I have. I have electric static field. What? Hold on. Field. It's in red. Come on now. I probably misspelled Electro. Yeah, there it is. Whoops. Back. Electrostatic field. So every single time you're dealing damage to him, you're doing an extra deal of damage. And, it, that, and it's a zero for war, so it is only killed by light, uh, lava coil straight out. And it's, you know, blocking most creatures. Um, You want to do risk factor... I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather go with a Rakdos, uh, Punisher build, and, and still keep Jaya. Like, I like Jaya. Jaya's not a bad idea. Um, we actually, I think we are a soldier, but we had a Mythic Edition Jaya, um, in our, in our, uh, stock. And, surprisingly, we, like, we got the whole, um, Guilds of Ravnica Mythic Edition, which had all the Planeswalkers from Guild. Uh, well, I should say from Guilds. Uh, it had a couple of different Planeswalkers that were uh, kind of like master work, you know, where they weren't looking like this. They were looking. I wish I had a better. Oh, yeah. You know what? I do have an example. Uh, you see how there's this Teferi? I believe, I believe that this is the Masterwork to Fairy, or at least this is the Masterwork to Fairy equivalents on MTG Arena. Um, so yeah, we we had those, um, and Giant Ballard sold out. I think she was like the fourth one, uh, out of like ten, 
And it was just funny to me because I was like, really? Jaya Ballard? And I was like, well, I guess she's in Standard and all this. But no, like, seriously, Jaya is pretty good. Um, and so, yeah. Anyways, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, this is Sneaky Narcotic signing off.